Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Joshi and I'm automation test lead in MNC having 10 plus years of experience in automation testing and I based out in London, UK. Um, so first of all, welcome to my YouTube channel Selenium Easy with Rahul and uh, the purpose of the YouTube channel is to give the, you the high level details about the Selenium automation tool. Um, so we are going to study together, grow together and the only thing that is required is practice, practice and practice. And we will start with the very basics, you know, and because, you know, what I feel is like uh, there is no need to go in depth on the Selenium first. First of all, we learn about the basics. When we understand about the basics, then we will go further detail. Yes, it's broken. So the purpose of giving you the example is just because, you know, um, so that you can visualize why we use automation testing. What is the purpose of automation testing? Um, so in the digital world, if I say that we have numerous amount of applications within the organizations and uh, what organizations do, they can ask the team members or the people to test their website or the applications. So there are two ways of uh, testing the applications. One is the manual testing and the other one is the automation testing. So one of the tool actually that is there for the automation testing is Selenium, which is, you know, which is being used by multiple or I can say many organizations, right? Just because the re main reason is like, you know, it is a freeware as well as the open source. So I'm giving the example. I'm just sharing, you know, I'm going to share you like uh, what is Selenium and what it, what are the benefits of Selenium. So check out. Hello, everyone. So in today's session, we are going to discuss on two main topics. One is the Selenium introduction. Second is the purpose of the YouTube channel and what all support we are going to provide as part of this YouTube channel. So stay tuned. So I'm quickly sharing my screen um, to tell you about Selenium and its features. And uh, we will also discuss about some of the things about uh, the Selenium framework. Um, so as we know that uh, Selenium is an open source automation tool. And that is the reason that most of the organizations are being inclined um, to this automation tool. Um, earlier, there's one tool named as UFT, which was very popular, I believe three or four years ago, um, but it was a paid one. And now Selenium actually is the top most priority for many organizations. So that is the reason we are going to study in detail about Selenium. Um, if I talk about the Selenium features, so one of the feature is that it supports a wide range of browsers. So that includes Chrome, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and so many others uh, browsers as well. If I talk about the Internet Explorer, so as we know that Microsoft already, you know, decommissioned the Internet Explorer browser, but there are few organizations um, whose applications are still being used in the Internet Explorer. So we have a capability named as, um, you know, Internet Explorer mode in Edge browser. So that we will discuss in detail, maybe in next few sessions. Um, if I talk about the operating system, then, you know, um, it supports a wide range of operating systems. Uh, my favorite Windows, Mac OS, and Linux operating system that is being supported by Selenium. Um, now, if I talk about the languages or the programming languages that is being supported by Selenium, so we have Java, JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, and many more programming languages. Okay, uh, now moving to the next slide. So in this slide, we are going to discuss about Selenium and Selenium Frameworks capabilities. One of the very crucial capability is that Selenium supports web applications. And Selenium also supports the API testing, whether it is REST Assured or SOAP. Um, Selenium has a direct integration with that of the databases such as SQL or Oracle databases and many more databases as well. Um, if I talk about the GitHub integration, then yes, the Selenium framework has the capabilities to be integrated directly with that of the GitHub repositories. Um, if I talk about the IDEs, then uh, you know um, the ID that I recommend is IntelliJ because I consider it has more features as compared to Eclipse as an IDE. Um, moving to the next capability is about the Azure pipelines or Jenkins integration. So if I talk about the Azure pipeline, so the pipeline is like, you know, that uh, with the help of pipeline, we are going to trigger our test cases, automated test cases. So whatever the result will be there, it automatically being, uh, you know, um, uploaded to the back to the pipeline. 
lastly, last capability is that Selenium has a direct integration with that of the Microfocus ALM. So as part of this, we are going to trigger what test cases from Microfocus ALM. It automatically trigger what test cases, make the status or change the status of uh, the test, automated test in the ALM to pass or fail and automatically uh, put the screenshots over there in the Microfocus ALM. So um, next, moving to the next slide. So let's discuss about the agenda for creating this YouTube channel, Selenium Easy with Rahul. Um, so the very first thing or the very crucial point is like, um, we are going to discuss about the basic details on Selenium. First of all, as I already discussed that, first of all, we will discuss about the basic details. Later on, when we feel confidence, then we'll go for the advanced level of Selenium. Okay. Secondly, we will also discuss about the interview, like uh, what actually interviewer asked uh, about the Selenium automation or about the automation testing. So we will discuss that as well. Um, apart from that, I'm also planning to connect with all the group members um, on Zoom. Um, you know, we can discuss about the queries, challenges that whatever we are facing um, in our day-to-day -day life. Um, if I talk about the queries and discussions, so probably you know that uh, we I already created one Facebook page with the name Selenium Easy with Rahul. So whatever the queries you have, you can you know uh, connect with me over there. You can post the queries, and I'm also thinking to create a WhatsApp or Telegram channel. Maybe I I will think of it, and maybe if required, I will uh, create those channels as well. And lastly, um, what I am thinking is like to connect with many people, and my friends as well. I am going to connect with that belongs to multiple organizations and uh, we can ask them the queries or whatever the, you know, what actually, what things actually they are doing currently um, in automation testing. And we can share our ideas and exchange our ideas on this automation testing. So that is the ultimate goal um, of uh, creating this YouTube channel. So moving to the next slide. So, um, in the next session, we are going to discuss about the Selenium components, that is Selenium IDE, RC, Selenium Web Driver, and Selenium Grid. We are going to discuss about the object findings as well. Um, let me tell you, the object findings is a very crucial topic in Selenium. So there are two ways actually through which we are going to create the objects. One is the basic level, and the second is the advanced level. So we will discuss both these types actually in our next sessions. So. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, we'll meet you in the next session. Thank you.